At two o'clock, she's still got a lot of cleaning up still to do. The job is not done yet. So she calls him at two o'clock about three times, excuse me, two times. I have one listed there twice. She calls him two times and then she texts him, why are you not answering my calls? And she calls him at 2.04. They have a conversation. Her voice is calm, she's normal, and what does she ask him to do? She knows that she needs more time to clean up what she had just done. So she tells him, hey, on your way home, stop by the school and fill out some paperwork for the girls, trying to buy every second that she can. The cleanup. There's a lot of blood in this room. We know that this blood has been soaked into the carpet for quite a number of hours. But there's blood on the floor, blood all over the place. This is the scene of where everything happened. We know that on this bed, when Michelle Wilkins was there, there was a mattress pad and a sheet. And the defendant threw Michelle Wilkins onto the floor. That's where Michelle Wilkins woke up. She threw her onto the floor there so that she could take that bedding off of this mattress. <coughs> she put the pillows in a sack and put that sack under this crib in the laundry room. There's the mattress pad that she took off the bed. <coughs> she did two loads of laundry. This is what was in the dryer and when the cops got there later that night, the towels that were in there still wet. Here's a sheet it's in the washer that was wet, a sheet that had Michelle Wilkins' blood on it. So she's cleaning up the blood, the sheets, the bedding, all of that. She takes her clothes off. David Ridley tells you when he comes home that she's only got on a bra and pants. So she puts her clothes in the trash, her shirt, her camisole, bloody paper towels, bloody cl cloths puts them in that trash in the upstairs dining room area. And then of course we know the cleanup involved putting that baby in the bathtub and getting it out of there. All of this goes to show her intent, even though it's after the fact. She has what she needs. She has that baby and now she's got to clean up. Now what was her plan that day? We know that her plan was to take that baby, to claim it as her own. Probably wasn't a really good plan what was going to happen when Michelle woke up? What was she going to do with the body if Michelle died? Just because it wasn't a good plan or doesn't seem to make sense doesn't mean that it wasn't an intentional plan that she had. All she cared about was getting that baby and taking that baby for herself. So she goes to the hospital. What does she do at the hospital? She is acting like a grieving mother. My baby, my baby, save my baby. And the hospital staff doesn't know any different. They think that she's a mother who needs their help. And that's what she acts like at the hospital. This is my baby. Please, doctor, save my baby. What she doesn't know is that back at her house, Michelle Wilkins has woken up, has called 911, and the cops are at her house. And when the cops show up, they're trying to figure out what happened. Let's look at her statements, the statements that she made. We know that she tried to pass this baby off as her own, that she told the hospital staff that this was her baby. And officers go in and initially they don't know any different. They don't know whose baby's what. They're trying to figure things out. And so Detective Graham goes in to talk to the defendant and says, you know, what's going on? Is this your baby? What happened? And you get this first line of question. And what are the cuts on your hand? I, you know what? I don't know. I, I didn't even think when I came upstairs and she said that I cut my hand. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Was anyone with you at your house today? No. I've been by myself all day. Okay. She says she doesn't know how she got the cuts on her hand. These are the cuts that she had on her hand. Multiple cuts, bleeding, significant cuts in between the fingers there. That's it bandaged up. A significant cut right here. And she claims to not know how she got the cuts, what happened to her hand, something so significant that it needed a lot of medical attention. 